Okay, how are you everyone? Jesse here with Redefine FX and today I want to show you how to spawn particles along a spline and create this spline follow effect. This is actually just one out of 15 total videos in the new free motion design crash course where we set up all of these effects that you're seeing right now. I go over many different cloner types and different types of effects, particles, physics. There's a lot to learn in this free course. So make sure that you grab it at redefinefx.com slash real time while it's still available. So first we need to create the spline. So you can go to modes and select the motion design mode. If you're not seeing this, make sure you enable the motion design plugin. Then you can go to actors and create a spline actor. Just click and I will position it right above my GPU model. And then you can just click to select the spline point and move it to the edge. And then you wanna hold Alt and drag to extend the spline. So I will move this point all the way down to the other side and then again, hold Alt and drag. Now don't worry about the curves. We're gonna fix the spline at the end. So I'll hold Alt and make another point over here. Hold Alt, make another over here. Now, when you get to this corner, you want to close the spline. So for that, you can just scroll down in the spline settings and check closed loop. So now I can select this corner piece and hit R to scale. And by scaling it, you're making it sharper. So I wanna sharpen it a little bit and then hit E to rotate, to rotate it a little bit. I'll do the same thing for this one, just sharpen it, rotate it. This one only needs to be scaled. And so I will pause the video and fix up all the points. And so after you're happy with the spline, you can go back to the motion design mode cloners and create a spline cloner. Click and the cloner needs to be in the same position as the spline. So with the spline selected, I want to copy the location and then go to the cloner location paste. And I need to do the same thing for the rotation. So spline rotation copy cloner rotation paste. Now under the cloner settings, sample actor, I can just select the spline and by default, the cubes are huge. So you can select the cube under the cloner and set the scale to 0.005. And if you zoom in, you should see the cubes being spawned along the spline. So now you can just start increasing the count. Now I'm noticing they're rotated a bit off. So for the default clone, you can reset the rotation of the cube. So they're all facing the same way. And to see them better, I'll give them this emissive material. And I will turn off one of these lights. And so now to make it actually follow the spline, we need to go to the cloner. Let's set the count to 500 until we basically get a solid line made out of the cubes. And you can scroll down and under spawn, set emission mode to infinite because we want them to be continuously spawning the emission style to rate. And now if you start increasing the rate, you see how they're being born along the spline, but we need to kill them to create the trail. So for that, we can enable lifetime and let's do, let's say 0.5 seconds for the lifetime minimum and maximum. Now to make it a bit nicer, we can also enable scale. So the cubes scale up and scale down over time. So for this graph, I want to right click and make another key. And so the first key should be a value of zero and zero. The second key right after the beginning, they should scale up very quickly. So let's say 0.1 and one. And then the last point is at zero at the end. So you can do control A and hit two. This will make them smooth keyframes. So it's a bit hard to see, but we have more of a teardrop shape for the line. Now, if you don't want to see the spline, you can just hit G and this will hide the spline preview. Now to extend the length of it, we can just increase the emission rate. So in my original example, I had this at around 300. And finally, if you would like, you can randomize the lifetime. So you get a bit of a random tail. So I'll set the maximum to 0.75. So some of them die a bit later. And so here you go, spline follow with just the motion design tools. Now, if you'd like to learn how to set up the GPU model, create the materials, spin the fan with animators and create all of these additional effects where we cover so many of the different features of the motion design tools, then definitely grab the free course at redefineffects.com slash real time. We cover a lot of valuable techniques, so I'd love to see you inside.
And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.